Shailene Woodley is slamming news outlets for disparaging her fiancé Aaron Rodgers after the quarterback revealed he was unvaccinated. On Tuesday, the actress took to her Instagram stories where she criticized a report alleging the 37-year-old stepped out in Los Angeles following his COVID-19 diagnosis. The 29-year-old claimed Rogers isn't the masked man who was photographed by paparazzi. Literally you'll need to calm the F down, Woodley wrote alongside the photos in question. This is straight up hilarious. News outlets still grasping at straws to disparage Aaron. Finding random F, ing men on the streets of Le and saying it's him. I know Aaron's body very well, she continued. First off his feet, a hum and no offense to this rando dude, are a lot bigger. Also, for those of us who know Aaron beyond the worlds of obsessed sport and S, media, it's no secret he has the hairiest hands on the F, ing planet. This oblivious homie, clearly, does not go ahead, zoom in. Also, cute car dude, but Aaron would never drive this, she added. On November 9, a Wisconsin health care organization ended their nine-year partnership with the Green Bay Packers star after he detailed his reasoning for avoiding the three COVID-19 vaccinations endorsed by the NFL. A statement posted on Twitter by Previa Health said the company and Rogers mutually agreed to end their partnership, effective Saturday. Previa Health and Rogers had been partners since 2012. The statement said Previa Health remains deeply committed to protecting its patients, staff, providers and communities amidst the COVID-19 pandemic. This includes encouraging and helping all eligible populations to become vaccinated against COVID-19 to prevent the virus from further significantly impacting lives and livelihoods. The move comes a day after Rogers told the Pat McAfee show he had sought alternative treatments to COVID-19 vaccination because he is allergic to an ingredient in two of the FDA-approved shots. Rogers did not say what ingredient he was allergic to, or how he knows he is allergic. Rogers has strongly questioned the NFL's COVID-19 protocols, along with any organization forcing health requirements on individuals. I believe strongly in bodily autonomy and the ability to make choices for your body, not to have to acquiesce to some woke culture or crazed group of individuals who say you have to do something, he said. Health is not a one-size-fits-all for everybody, and for me, it involved a lot of study in the off-season. The COVID-19 vaccines authorized for use in the U.S. were tested in tens of thousands of people and proven to be both safe and effective at dramatically reducing the risk of serious disease and death, the Associated Press reported. The outlet noted that the vaccines now have been given to more than 200 million Americans and that real-world use plus extra government safety tracking have made clear that serious side effects are extremely rare, and that any risk is far lower than the risks posed by COVID-19. Rogers, who has been tested daily as part of NFL protocols for unvaccinated players, found out he contracted COVID-19 on Wednesday. He must have a negative test to return to the team on November 13. The reigning NFL MVP, whose endorsement deals include a starring role in commercials for insurance company State Farm, hinted that his stance on vaccination could have consequences when he described himself as a victim of cancel culture. Rogers and Woodley's relationship became public earlier this year. On February 6, the athlete revealed their engagement during the virtual NFL Honors broadcast. In late February, Woodley confirmed their engagement during an appearance on The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon.